What's up guys, it's Austin, back at it again with another video. Today we're going to be having sort of a double feature. Um, I've got two games that were both really quick. I kind of steamrolled uh, both uh, games. This one actually, they're both actually Reaper gameplay for the most part. This one starts off as Soldier. I think the other one actually starts off as Widow a little bit. So I'm, I'm just gonna like let these play through. This is Overwatch 2. Uh, we are doing the 5v5 meta and everything like that. Um, just giving you a little bit more um, insight into to the new process into the new overwatch 2 gameplay um and i've been really liking it so far i talked a little bit about it in my last video on overwatch 2 talking about kiriko a little bit more i think i ended up talking a good bit about kiriko and how kiriko plays and everything and i didn't get to really talk too much about the dps role um in overwatch 2 uh because it has changed a good bit like kind of how the process works with the dps and everything like that so i think here's where i'm like yeah i'm gonna switch to reaper this is actually one of reaper's new skins it's the luchador skin that he has uh for the overwatch league uh last season really good skin all things considered i think um i i I think I remember this being a relatively good game for me once I actually switched over to Reaper because Reaper is actually really good in Overwatch 2. At least he was with the damage passive now in Season 2. That damage passive has kind of been nerfed to the ground because it doesn't affect speed at all. It only affects reload, which Reaper still needs a good bit of help with. But actually, when you think about it, a lot of characters that used to benefit from that speed boost after getting a kill, characters like Genji, characters like Sojourn, characters like Reaper, who were either already had very good mobility or they have very bad mobility and need that assistance and can benefit and capitalize off of it like Reaper just once he gets a kill, he heals himself, you know, he gets a speed boost, he gets a reload boost, all of those things just sort of catapult him in the mid tiers, which obviously is what I play through. Um, into like just insanity it's it's he just snowballs into an incredible character at least season one i haven't gotten that much opportunity yet in season two to play damage um i've been mostly playing support again because that seems to be how i start out is i play a lot of support and then i switch over to damage and tank um probably the least um as far as my comfort level i'd probably say i'm most comfortable in the damage role even though i play most often i play uh support mainly because i'm i love support like i love playing support but i'm not the best support player probably my best character season one unironically was genji i would pop off as genji some games and i don't know that i even have a game where i popped off as genji um because after a while season one i kind of stopped uh recording uh and you know saving my gameplay I did it very, very, like a lot very early on in season one and then didn't really continue beyond the first couple of weeks because I was struggling to actually get these recordings uploaded because I would just wanted to play the game more and I'd be having all these good games. I'd be like, oh, I want to save that and record it. But then I wouldn't actually go back and record the audio for it. So now I'm kind of going back and doing that. This is a very, you know, mediocre ult, all things considered. Getting slept by the Ana and finishing her off after. Uh, overall, just like a steamroll, these guys. Like, you switch to Reaper and he just he just steamrolls everybody. Not just me, obviously. We also have a Genji on our team, which is great. This, like, very bad manners ultimate there right at the end. Overall, just a really good sort of game there uh so now i'm actually gonna switch over really quickly to this other reaper match that i have and kind of fast forward it through the beginning portions uh let's get back here where we start so like i start out here on um on widowmaker and of course you know i don't know i think i was trying to emote to that guy but he just didn't let's watch me whiff this shot even though i had it pre-lined up you know that's that's to be expected right that's to be expected with a widowmaker when i don't normally play widowmaker um but let's see like how this gameplay sort of plays out if i remember it correctly i believe this is another one where i just switched to reaper and just we roll the enemy team because reaper was just so hard to kill in season one and it wasn't that he, they really did anything new with reaper he just kind of killed things and if he saw you you were probably dead all things considered not like Sojourn where she just deletes you from the game, but like you just 
you you do well you you get kills you capitalize you finish kills finish eliminations that's the biggest thing i think with reaper is that he just finishes eliminations so well and yes i know that i can't actually kill her through the ice i just thought she would pop out earlier and i wanted to you know get her uh, as she was popping out but it's probably not the best idea to be honest that's the new diva skin and i really like that diva skin I did play a couple of games with D.Va and Aztank. I primarily play Sigma now, all things considered, and I do have a Sigma gameplay that should be coming um, if it hasn't come already. I'm not sure exactly what um, order I'm going to post these Overwatch 2 gameplays um, quite yet, other than the Kirika one that I posted last Friday. Um, or a couple weeks ago, maybe even. I'm not even really sure. I'm setting these up. I'm recording them sort of all in one day and then setting them up before I go to holidays uh, at my parents' house because I'm not going to be playing any Overwatch over that break uh, because I'm not taking my computer with me um, at all. So I wanted to get some at least through the holidays to get us through that portion. Um, I have a lot of older videos, actually, that I've been uploading. Not sure if you saw the Call of Duty Zombies videos, but I have another one of those coming as well. Um, just uh, a Darice video that I recorded a long time ago. I'm not even sure why I never uploaded it. Probably because I didn't go very far. Like, I only played for 20 minutes, played through, like, 16 rounds, and then died. And then I was like, all right, I'm going to end the video here. Um, but it still had good quality to it. You know, like, there was still, like, good commentary there that I didn't ever upload. And, you know, I think now with YouTube, what I'm kind of trying to do is I'm, I'm recording not necessarily for other people. I'm just recording because it's a hobby of mine and it's like a, it's almost like a therapy, so to speak. You know, like I have a lot of thoughts and a lot of, you know, things going on. And so I just want to, this is kind of sick if I remember this, they don't know. I'm trying to get the, uh, I'm trying to get them to do something so that I can like get this crazy ultimate. It just, you know, it, it, it was all right. I d the diva. I almost killed the Kiriko, but I couldn't get her um, quite there yet. Um, it was a good round, though. Uh, good try. Good attempt on my part for the Reaper ult. Um, but, yeah, so I guess the big thing with YouTube recording is, like, it's just therapeutic to me. I enjoy it. It helps me, you know, look back on my thought process because I actually watch my videos. Uh, I'm, I'm not like, not in a pretentious way. Like, oh wow, these videos are incredible. No, they're, they're not great. But it takes me back to a time that was simpler, I guess. Back when I was recording, you know, Minecraft videos, I'll go back and watch it and I'll be like, wow, this is really cringy. But at the same time, I'll be like, wow, I was so, I was in such a different headspace. Right, and you can see that in the way that I talk about things and the interactions that I have, not only with myself, but with like just the game itself. And that's interesting. It's not something that a lot of people use YouTube for necessarily um, to like look back on their own memories, but I find it very valuable sometimes. And I think it's something that is almost underrated in a lot of ways. Um, and undervalued and so I have been you know trying to do that more often especially you know now that I'm married and uh, you know I'll show my wife I'll be like hey um, this is this video that I made way back when about this game that I really really love and look at me being dumb and not shooting the actual you know thing that gives them invincibility um, I'm still you know I was out of practice for a while. Baptiste was one of the newer characters that I wasn't as familiar with uh, coming into Overwatch 2. So I was not uh, fully aware that I had to shoot that down. Uh, but now I know that. So you guys can, you know, in the comment section, you can let me know. Oh, you need to shoot that down, you know, at 8.53 or whatever, um, whenever that was. Um, if that's actually correct, I really don't know. I didn't look down at the recording time on that one. But that would be kind of funny if it was. So they could see me rushed. Um, I'm really close to ulting. I think I'm gonna try right here. Yeah, yeah, that's probably a good ult right there. Except for the fact that mommy over here is gonna kill me. Actually, D.Va killed me. Then she, you know, hit me with the bad manners pistol whip, uh, <laughs> for lack of a better term. 
But yeah, I think we're actually gonna win this one. This might be a very anticlimactic ending, actually, since my entire team is on the point and is just continuing to push, and I'm just way back here. But uh, yeah, that'll be a good two-part uh, sort of Reaper video collage. Um, that's very, you know, fun and entertaining and, you know, just enjoyable overall to, to watch and see. So, um, yeah, as always, I hope you guys, uh, enjoyed this, uh, little collage of Reaper. Um, and I'll see you all next time. As always, peace out.